What's up Tech Gang, Stefan here from TechRight. Today we're gonna to be showing you some tips and tricks on the Galaxy A51. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the Galaxy A51 right here. We're gonna go ahead and talk about some new tips and tricks on this device. Now, these tips and tricks will correlate with many other Samsung A-series devices. Uh, so these will probably work with your device if you have an A-series device. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start this off. But if you guys do end up enjoying this video, definitely consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to be notified when I upload next. But starting off with our first tip, we're gonna go into settings right here and we're gonna type in side key. So as you guys see, it already pops up when we click side. Go right here to side key. Go ahead and click on side key right there. Now if you guys don't have double press on, make sure you guys go ahead and turn that on. There's three different options that we have here. We have quick launch camera, open Bixby, and open app. Now you're probably not gonna wanna use Bixby. You're probably either gonna wanna use the quick camera launch right here. We're gonna go ahead and test it out for you guys. So double tap, and that opens up the camera. And if you turn off this phone, double tap, still opens up the camera so that's that's a really really cool feature um, but what's even cooler is you can actually map it to open up one of your favorite applications so this is definitely going to be useful if you guys use one application more than anything else uh, so say you use netflix um go ahead and double tap the power button and that's going to take you straight into netflix so i thought that was a really cool feature uh you guys should definitely go ahead and check that out especially if there's an application that you use more than anything else i would definitely go ahead and map that out to work best for you all right everyone so the second tip is going to be in the settings as well and this is going to be the one-handed mode so let's go ahead and type in one-handed mode go ahead and click on that right there um, and that's going to take us over here to the one-handed mode. So there's two ways to do this. You can either use the gesture right here. So swipe down in the center of the bottom edge of the screen or double tap the home button. So we're gonna go ahead and do that instead. Go ahead and double tap. And as you guys see, we can go ahead and use it with one hand now. It's dramatically smaller than what it used to be. And if you guys wanna go ahead and exit that, you just go ahead and tap the black and you're back into full screen. So I thought that was a really cool option, especially for people that have the A71 or the A51. These are kind of big devices and they can definitely be some trouble sometimes, uh, but really cool feature. All right, everyone, so the next tip is going to be smart stay. So we're gonna go back into settings. We're gonna go ahead and type in smart stay right here. Go ahead and click on that. So when you turn this on, it says smart stay keeps the screen on while you're looking at it by using the front camera to detect your face. So pretty cool right here. Um, if you guys wanna save battery, this is a really good way of doing it. Um, if you look away from the screen, uh, it is going to turn off, I believe in about a few seconds. So it's a really cool option if you guys wanna use that. I personally don't like it, but I know a lot of people would like it. All right, everyone, so the next tip is going to be the screensaver. Now, a lot of people don't think they can have a screensaver uh, on their device, but they actually can. So all you have to do is go ahead and type in screensaver, click on display. Now there's a few different options. We're gonna go and scroll down right here, click on screensaver. There's a few different options. Uh, you can have none, you can have colors, which is basically just right here. It'll just go ahead and glow, uh, kind of vibey. It'll just go ahead and glow while your phone's off. Uh, you can also have a photo table and photo frames. So you can actually pick the photos that you want and you're gonna have basically just a little collage going through them. Uh, maybe you have some family members or you have some nice scenery or even some wallpapers that you want. Um, on your phone as screensavers while your phone's off or charging. I feel like this is a really, really cool feature, especially when customizing and personalizing your phone. So I would definitely check that out if you guys haven't checked that out already. All right, everyone, so the next tip is going to be in settings as well. Um, this is going to be actually pretty cool. You can actually link your phone to Windows. So all you have to do is type in link right here. Go ahead and click link to Windows. Now I know a lot of people don't know about this, um, but as you guys can see right here, it says connect your phone to your computer so you can access your texts, notifications, recent photos, and more. So if you guys do have a Windows computer, you can actually link your phone to your PC right here. 
Um, and if you don't have a Windows PC, go ahead and click that and it's gonna give you some information. But if you do, um, you can basically receive all of your notifications through there. So we're just gonna swipe through here. It says stop emailing your photos to yourself, link your phone and see your most recent photos right on your PC. Uh, that's one of the features. Manage your notifications, conquer the clutter by managing and responding to recent notifications right from your PC. Instantly access your text message so you can reply to conversations uh, on your computer, which is cool. Use your phone screen without picking it up so you can order food, uh, catch up on social media, and use your favorite mobile apps and leave your phone in your pocket when it rings. So you can make calls from your PC as well. So if you guys aren't currently using this and you want something that's kind of like, you know, iOS and Apple with the Mac, you know, receiving calls and texts like that, I would definitely set up that feature. And it's really cool that we get it on devices that are mid-range devices. Um, really cool feature right here. And I think it's really underrated as well. Now this next tip is going to be very, very simple. Um, I just want everybody to know about this because I don't think people know about this, but if you hit this drop down shade right here, um, we're gonna have all of these different tools. Um, but to get into the tools, you're gonna wanna go ahead and actually hold on them. So a lot of people I feel like don't know about this, but if you wanna get into more of the information, just go ahead and hold on it. But if you see the Dolby Atmos uh, setting right here, just go ahead and hold on that and it gives you gives you more information. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, I would definitely use that to your advantage to go ahead and you know have different settings on those tools or customize those tools uh, to your liking, but really, really cool feature. All right, everyone, so the next tip is going to be in settings, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on sounds and vibration. Go ahead and click on that. And uh, if we scroll down right here, now once we're in here, we're gonna actually find our sound quality and effects, and you're gonna wanna go and click on that next. And we have our equalizer right here. So a lot of people don't know about this, um, but there's different genres on here that you can choose. We have normal, we have pop, classic, jazz, rock. So depending on what you're listening to, uh, you can go ahead and turn any of these settings on. Or if you guys have some knowledge of audio and, and decibels and things of that nature, uh, you guys can go ahead and customize this. So I would go ahead and check that out if you guys are audiophiles, because uh, I know a lot of people like to customize the sound of their music and things like that. And also, obviously, we have Dolby Atmos uh, once we're using headphones. Also, we have something called Adapt Sound, uh, which seems pretty interesting. Uh, so under 30 years old, boost high range frequencies, 30 to 60, boost high slash mid range frequencies, and over 60. Uh, boost all frequencies or you can personalize the sound as well So I thought that was cool that you can go ahead and customize your sound setting So if you guys want to do that, obviously go ahead and check that out All right, everyone So the next tip I'm going to be talking about is going to be live caption now You may or may not have this on your device yet uh, But we have live caption right here now if you go ahead and turn this on uh, this is going to be reading everything that you're listening to in real time. Uh, you can actually hide profanity as well. And there's a few other controls right here. We have live caption and volume control, uh, show sound labels, and we can also change the language as well, depending on what uh, you're listening to. Um, but I thought that was just really cool. If you guys want to go ahead and turn this on, I would definitely do so. Um, this would be useful in settings like a library or maybe somewhere that you don't want people hearing your, you know, the media you're listening to. And so you have to turn the captions on. So I, I feel like this would be very, very useful in those types of situations. Our next tip is going to be the screen recorder settings. So uh, we're going to go ahead and find our screen recorder. Uh, right here, screen recorder settings, go ahead and click on that. Now, we can actually change many different things. Um, you can have no sound, uh, or you can have media sounds, or you can have media sounds and mic. Now, a lot of people don't know about this. Um, a lot of people uh, like to film their gameplay and certain things on their device, and they don't know how to capture the sound of their voice and the media at the same time. Uh, but you actually have to change the settings and the screen recorder settings. Uh, and you can also change the quality as well. So right here, it's set to 1080p default. But if you guys wanna go ahead and change it to 720p, you can, or 480p as well. So I thought that was really cool that we can change the settings uh, of this feature. All right, everyone, so the last thing we're gonna be taking a look at in these settings is the battery app percentage. So this is gonna be very simple. We're gonna go ahead and type in battery first and foremost. 
and we're going to show battery percentage. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on that. Uh, and we have our option down here. Go ahead and click on that and your battery percentage is going to pop up at the top right. So if you guys were having issues with that uh, and you wanted your percentage up there, you can now do this. Um, I'm sure this was pretty easy to figure out, uh, but if you guys did not know that, um, I hope I helped you with that. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well. Subscribing, hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.